Constructive. What the hell is constructive about taking a kid away from his natural father? Now, what's constructive about that? Yeah, well, blame yourself. Blame myself? You two sneak off without telling anybody. Because you always put your nose in everything. You never want to stop. Stop it! Stop it! Why did you have to come after us, Bonner? Because he's my son. Because I love him, and you were going to take him away from me. All I can think about is what is happening to him, and all you can think about is what's happened to you. <laughs> it's the wrong time for this. Yeah, that's right, Jane. Everything that you do is perfect, Jane, and everything that I do is wrong. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I want to ask you a question. No! Why did you break into our house in the first place, Bonner? Because Why I want to smash all the windows again. What the hell are you talking about? What are you looking at? The sheriff called. We've identified the car. Come on. The car was rented in Chicago by a Mitchell West. Bud West's credit card was stolen that morning, so Illinois is working that angle for us. Did you run the contract for print? They're doing it now. The car was a 1993 silver Buick. We'll find it. But I don't want to raise your hopes, Mrs. Brody. There's a good chance we'll find it abandoned. But there'll be something. Clues. What about APBs? Did you release photos? We've given Eric's photo to the papers. And by tomorrow, all of Utah and Colorado will have seen his face. Look, there's nothing you can do here for now, so why don't you all go get something to eat? There's a nice little restaurant across the street, and we'll call you if we need anything. Uh, what if there's a ransom call? I mean, shouldn't somebody be at the motel to get it? Oh, well, if they haven't called yet, it's unlikely. Sure. Why don't you take the first shift, Mr. Brody, and you can spell each other. Okay. All right. Why don't you go with him and get something to me? No, I'll go with you. Oh, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. start drinking in the first place. What did Sandstrom send us away? He got me off his back. Small town hit cops, you know. Wanted me to cool you out so you wouldn't get in the way. Yeah. Why'd you do it? It's not like you to get off people's backs. Yeah, I know. It's still early. Anybody can do the legwork, especially if it was just some creep. There you go, sir. You didn't, not till after Eric was born. Didn't what? Drink. It's not like we didn't want a child. You were crazy about the prospect of having a boy, remember? You wanted a boy more than anything. <laughs> How did you pick that moment to become a drunk? Why not? Is this a mole or what? What? 
This mark. Is it a mole? There's something wrong with the picture. Oh. <laughs> I was going to aim for it. <laughs> Remember the night Eric was born? How worried I was when he stopped kicking? Yeah, you were worried. Yeah. Remember our trip to the hospital? You picked me up in the company car. You called it. You drove all the way with a siren on. Our HIP. Rank has its privileges. Why are we walking down memory lane now? I don't know. I was so worried something had gone wrong. Would have been my fifth miscarriage, but we had Eric instead. Yeah, instead. We had Eric instead. What do you mean? Mean what? Why did you say instead like that? You said instead. No. Not the way you did. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't speak English as well as you, I guess. I was out for two days after the cesarean. They didn't let me see Eric till the third day. And even then, they only let me hold him for an hour. Remember? I was so upset. And my only consolation was that you could hold him. But you didn't want to. Why? Why don't you leave it alone, Jane? Leave it alone? We don't know where Eric is or what has happened to him. I'm not trying to hate you. I just... I want to know. Why couldn't you have held him? I held him. What did you say? I held him. He died, didn't he? Our son, our baby died in childbirth, didn't he? It was stillborn. You could put yourself, okay? Didn't he? Didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Tell me what happened. They said, uh, the baby got tangled in the umbilical cord. <sighs> Did Dr. Miller know? Yeah, of course he knew. He no, knew. not about that. That you switched babies. Did he know? I was worried how you were going to take it because of the other miscarriages. He told me he had a patient who was going to put her baby up for adoption. I made a deal with her. What kind of a deal? She wanted money. I gave her money. How much? A lot. We didn't have a lot. What did you do? You don't want to know, Jane. Where is she now? The real mother. 